Hey everyone, in today's video I will talk about TF-IDF algorithm and how to use it in NLP tasks. So TF-IDF is a short for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency. It's a popular algorithm used in information retrieval and text mining tasks. It aims to measure the importance of a term within a document or a collection of documents. Note that there are various libraries available in different programming languages that provide implementation of TFIDF, such as scikit-learn in Python. These libraries often provide convenient functions for pre-processing, computing TFIDF scores, and transforming documents into TFIDF vectors, saving you from implementing TFIDF from scratch. So now let's go over the implementation for TFIDF algorithm. So first we import libraries like math, numpy, and NLDK, and then we have the TFIDF class. So the first function is calcTF that gets a term and a document and calculate the term frequency of that term in the document. This helps determine the importance of the term within this, this specific document. So the term frequency of a term is in a document is the number of times the term appears divided by the total number of terms in the document. Okay, now the next function is calc IDF that gets a term and a list of documents and calculate the inverse document frequency of that term in the collection of documents. It basically measures the importance of a term in the entire collection of documents and helps identify terms that are unique or rare across the corpus. So first we calculate the document frequency which is the number of documents that contain the term. And then we take the logarithm of the total number of document documents plus one divided by the document frequency plus one. Uh, the plus one in the dominator is to avoid um, dividing by zero in case no document contains that term. And the plus one in the numerator is to avoid having a smaller number in the numerator than the dominator, causing a negative result, which is not allowed in TFIDF. The lowest value in TFIDF is zero. So both term frequency and the inverse document frequency should be positive numbers. All right, let's move on to the fit function that gets a list of documents and calculate IDF scores for all terms in the documents. So first we have, um, we initial a variable TFIDF model with a list of the terms from all documents, then an empty object for the IDF scores. And then we go over each term and calculate its IDF scores. And that is basically our training process. Then we have the transform function that gets a document and returns a TFIDF vector representation for this document. The length of the vector will be as the size of the number of terms the model was trained on. So we go over each one of the terms and check the frequency of that term in the given document. And then we take the relevant IDF score for this term that we already calculated in the fit function and multiply uh, those two values. This value will represent the importance of the term in the document relative to the entire collection of the documents. And eventually the function uh, returns the vector that represents the importance of each term. And there we have it. Now let's test the model with some data. So we have a list of documents that we want to train the model on. 
But before applying TFIDF, it's essential to pre-process your documents. Uh, this typically involves removing punctuation, converting text to lowercase, and handling other tasks like stemming or limitization. These pre-processing steps help normalize the text and reduce the dimensionality of the feature space. So in this case, I created a simple pre-process function that gets a document, tokenize it into individual words, remove stop words, and apply stemming. So after applying uh, this function on all documents, I defined uh, the model and train it on the processed document. Once the training is done, I can get vector representations for documents. So let's get the vector for the document. Uh, I like to go swimming in the pool, for example. So first we pre-process the document and then uh, use the, tr the function transform in order to get a TFIDF vector that represents this sentence. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.